Days after being crowned the MotoGP world champion, Francesco Bagnaia says he's yet to realize the magnitude of the win. Sincerely, after all these years, uh, it's still difficult to, to understand what we've done uh, because um, it was an amazing result for all the team, for, uh, for us. Uh, so I'm very happy, very proud of my team. After a difficult start to the season, the 25-year-old sealed victory in the last race in Valencia on Sunday. It's the first time an Italian rider triumphed on an Italian bike in 50 years. Ducati CEO Claudio Domenicali says it's a moment of national pride. And so the whole country now is like to be on fire, you know, because everyone is very proud because they have the best rider, the best biker. It's a stellar year for Ducati also off the track with record sales. China is the brand's fastest growing market. We uh, are very committed to China market uh, because the potential is very high. And in China we are the brand number one, okay, by all the motorcycle community. Ducati is among more than 1,300 brands at this year's International Motorcycle and Accessories Exhibition in Milan, the industry's most important trade fair event. The ECMA Expo dates back to 1914 and represents more than 45 countries. Ducati's success makes this year's event particularly special. It's a success shared also with other motorbike brands. Even competitors have applauded Ducati. And we believe the Expo is a great way to sell Made in Italy worldwide. Experts say the biggest challenge facing the industry is its green transition. Ducati's first electric bike is the Moto E. The Moto E project for us is a kind of a testing project. We want to develop uh, actually the competence. We want to touch ground uh, in a real life environment, not just in prototype. Uh. In the meantime, the team has its sights on another victory at the Superbike World Championship in Indonesia on Sunday. Hermione Kitson, CGTN, Milan.